mm -hmm. that we are going to do the technology transfer of SSLV to industry. Mm -hmm. It is a it's a declaration that we are given even before we started SSLV development. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, zero. ISRO is all set to hand over its prized possession, SSLV, to private sector. If you're wondering why would ISRO want to do that, then as you might know, small satellites are in demand. And the SSLV, or Small Satellite Launch Vehicle, is designed to provide on-demand services for launching satellites weighing up to 500 kgs into a low Earth orbit. It has already undergone two development flights, and this decision will help meet the growing demand to put small satellites in orbits. To transfer the SSLV to the private sector, ISRO has decided to opt for the bidding route. That we are going to do the technology transfer of SSLV to industry. Mm -hmm. It is a it's a declaration that we are given even before we started SSLV development. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that the principle, principle of SSLV development is is currently there is no engineer industry at that point in time to develop small rockets in India. Mm -hmm. We started that program mm -hmm. and we want to help industry to do it. Mm -hmm. And we took up the development with us and we've completed in about three and a, three, four years. Of, in fact, we wanted to be done in two and a half years of time, but because of COVID, it took four years of mm -hmm. time and we faced one failure also. Mm -hmm. So now that it is developed and launched successfully, we want to honor our what originally we told. Mm -hmm. It is not developed for ISRO because ISRO has no interest to develop small satellite rocket and compete with anybody. We have no interest. Mm -hmm. Our interest is to help the industries to develop, have this small satellite launch capability, which is happening in private industry. SSLV is the sixth launch vehicle developed by ISRO. Its maiden flight in August last year was a failure due to vibration disturbances, which went on for a short duration on the equipment bay deck during the second stage separation. But this was fixed after an in-depth analysis of the fault. In February this year, the second version was put to test and the launch was declared successful. SSLV has already put EOS-7 satellite, US-based firm Antares Janus-1 and Chennai-based space startup Space Kit's Azadi Sat-2 satellites into a 450km circular orbit. This development will not just help meet the increased demand for small satellites to be put on orbits, but this will also help the private sector of the country to come of age. A recent report prepared by the Indian Space Association and consultancy firm Ernst & Young India said commercial satellite launch services can see India's domestic space industry contribute as much as $13 billion to the economy by 2025.